No matter how hard you try to tune your model by altering hyperparameters, adding more quality dataset or changing architecture, there will always be some error which you can't reduce and that's called irreducible error. And the error which you minimize by training is called reducible error. Loss function is consists of these two errors whereas reducible error can further break down into this form. Now let's understand these two terms bias and variance and how they affect models performance. Bias is basically the error which tells how far the predicted value is from actual value. Bias occurs due to incorrect assumption that model makes during training. A simple model has higher bias due to which it makes a lot of assumption about target function and fail to capture important features from training data which is also called underfitting. Linear regression is a good example of such kind of model where no matter how hard you train it but you can never converge on this kind of data set. As you can see this can never be approximated by a straight line. Whereas a model with low bias has little assumption and be able to capture patterns from training data. For example, you can use polynomial regression model by choosing an appropriate degree of polynomial to create the best fit line. But what if you choose degree of polynomial too high like 9 in this case. The model will start capturing every single detail including noise and become overfit on training dataset and not be able to generalize on new or unseen dataset. Now this type of model has something called high variance. Variance is something which indicates how sensitive and consistent your model is with respect to change in dataset. Like in this case, the error on training dataset is low but when you use the same model to perform on test dataset, the error will be too high. So this happens when a model has high variance. But if you tune the degree of polynomial again a little bit, then you can have a model with low variance. Now as far as we saw, a model with high bias makes very simplistic assumption and unfits the data whereas a model with high variance capture noise and overfits the data. But when a model has low bias and low variance, it adapts very well on the data set. And one more thing you may have noticed is in case of high bias, the model try to approximate target function like this which is very similar case like if a model has low variance. And when a model has high variance tries to approximate target function then the case is similar like model has very low bias. And this relationship between bias and variance brings us to a famous trade off called the bias variance trade off. Where if you try to decrease one the other will start increasing and as we already saw that a model with low bias and low variance performs well. So to conclude. We can have four types of cases while training a machine learning model. A model with high bias as well as high variance. High bias will not let the model to adapt training data which will lead to high average training error and high variance will make it very sensitive with respect to change in data which led to inconsistency in prediction. Now second case, a model with low bias and high variance. Due to low bias, the model will adapt to training data and you will get low average training error but you will still see inconsistency in prediction that is high average error on test data set due to high variance. Third case, a model with high bias but low variance. As you know high bias will increase training error but the model will less inconsistent in prediction due to low variance. And the fourth one is a model with low bias and low variance which everyone wants because it adapts very well on training data set due to low bias and become consistent and less sensitive at prediction due to low variance. And this is very famous bullseye visualization of bias variance trade off. And the best part you say you can actually calculate how much bias and variance your model has. So let's see that in code. For this install ml extend through pip. Import bias variance decomposition your favorite classifier or regressor your data set and a function to split the data into training or test set. Load the data set, split it and load your model. Now bias variance decomposition will return loss, average bias and average variance by taking model, training data and test data as a parameter. Print all the results and hit run. And as you can see your values of models bias and variance. Stay tuned for more quick explanations and as always thanks for watching.